Hello everyone, my name is Doc Shoup. I'm the Outreach Director for the New Jersey Veterans Network. We're in a mobile outreach program that works with veterans and helps to reach them so we can get them whatever resources they need. Anything from food distribution directly to veterans' homes, to things like counseling or job finding assistance, or rental assistance, bills assistance. We have resources for all these things. We involve them in our events. Um, here's one of our funner events. This was a event where we teamed up with the Coast Guard to bring a few dozen veterans out. We had vets from the shelter, vets from all over the state come to go out, have a good time together as vets. Coast Guard provided a nice hot meal. Here's one of our veteran salute programs. Gave away free suits, had resources there, and we had everything from video games. Here's a food drop off that we did. We teamed up with the VFW for that. Bring some food over to the vets. Here's a speaking engagement we did at NJIT. We try to reach people in different ways and get these vets what they need. Um, here's one of our volunteers during a parade. Sergeant Almanzar is a ranger. You know, it's a good time. Here's um, James Ludolph dropping off food around Thanksgiving time to some vets and our mascot. Here's Chris Carbone. Chris here, he uh, was speaking to high school students on behalf of our program. And I think it's important to be able to speak to our students so that they can understand what some of our veterans have gone through. It's a lot easier for them to understand sacrifice and what some of our vets have seen when we have great speakers like this speaking to them. Uh, here's Cheeseburger Day. We brought hot cheeseburgers to the Emerson House. It's a veteran shelter and several other hospitals and shelters throughout the state. Here's some donation drop-offs. Backpacks full of toiletries, towels. Our mascot over there dropped off a video game console. Here we are dropping off some awards to a food distribution program we work with. It's helped us feed over 100 vets, fill their pantries with groceries. That's a really good program to work with. We do all kinds of stuff. This is at Unbridled Heroes Project, the horse therapy ranch, and our mascot there. Oh, this was us uh, giving a car away to a veteran, teaming up with Benner's Auto and Geico to give it to a veteran in need. Oh, this was a good time. Um, this is once again the Coast Guard trip. Um, this was lunch being served. Here's some of the Coast Guard guys. This was a Catherine Walker, by the way, that we were on. This was a real fun trip. Um, this was a veteran salute program. We have volunteers doing everything from cutting hair to making veterans feel comfortable. Here we have a movie theater event that we did. We had guys, counselors, talking to vets. Here's some of the toiletries we keep stored to give to vets. This right here was a cleanup that we did. We are setting up free clothing to give away to veterans. Uh, we even had Batman come to one of our events to help us <laughs> usher in the vets. This is us uh, dropping off toys to veterans children. I dressed up as Santa Claus. Our mascot shadow was an elf. Uh, we had plenty of donations come in and we had plenty of great vets to bring the toys to. Here's us with some of the volunteers. Oh, Here's um, our little elf mascot. <laughs> dropped off some toys to a veteran family uh, here's some more of those toy donations that came in this was a really cool uh, cool thing to do um, here's a uh, another food drop off I think I'm sorry these are some more toy donations that we dropped off to veterans families it's pretty important to do this stuff here's another truck full of toys that we dropped off You'd be surprised um, what a big difference it can make to some of the veteran families dropping off these toys. Here's some clothing donations and some more gifts we were dropping off during that time. Ah, another speaking um, event, I think this is the NJIT, where our president, Michael Bull, here got to talk a little bit. Uh, this is me here speaking at NJIT as well. Again, it's important for us to reach out to the vets and get them the resources they might need. Uh, here we are teamed up with the VFW. Again, it's important to get out there and reach the vets. 
Well, here's a bicycle drop off we did to a to an awesome vet. He's one of our volunteers. So um, here's some of our volunteers dropping off some food and clothing donations. This really helps a lot of vets out. I'd be surprised how many vets could just need some groceries just to help them out. But here's some of the volunteers that recently did that with us. Um, some more food donations and of course our mascot Shadow and our volunteer Nira. Oh, here's an outreach event. Again, we try to get out there as much as possible. I think this was Garfield, New Jersey. Try to reach as many vets and let them know about resources that are available to them. Here we are with some of the team. Um, you know, get, giving some flyers out, making sure vets are aware of programs that we have. Here's some of the guys on that Coast Guard boat. This was a really fun event. You guys really like this one. It's amazing what a field trip can do for some of the guys. Oh, here's another speaking event. Here's our business director. Gene Spillane, he gives advice to veterans about business, small business, starting business. Uh, oh, this is one of our parades. We got our mascot hopping out of the back. and This was us speaking at the Senate about the needs that veterans have and what can be done. Uh, there's Gene again at another NJVN booth. I think this was at a veterans business. Oh, here we are giving another car away. <laughs> this is a really great vet we were able to give this car to. He manages a charity where they do horse therapy. It's called Unbridled Heroes. Great program. We're so happy to team up with the Falco Towing and Geico to uh, get this car out to this vet. Really awesome. Oh, here's an article about one of the events that we did. Oh, this was a field trip to Sterling Hill Mines. Uh, we had Catholic Charities there with us and legal assistants there to ask, you know, to cover any questions some of the vets might have while they were having fun. It's a lot easier to uh, ask some questions when you're in an environment like that. Whereas, you know, if it's a sad environment, it could be more difficult for vets to ask questions. But when we do our stuff, we have guys come out and they get the help that they need so thank you very much for listening um, <laughs> this doesn't cover all the stuff that we do we stay pretty busy but um, th thank you all who support us uh, we are out there making a huge difference in helping veterans our programs are different but they work they've been very successful and um on behalf of the vets who are helping, who you've supported, thank you.